At the beginning of the year, I set myself a list of goals I wanted to achieve before the end of 2019. Over the past 9 months, I've been slowly but surely chipping away at the list, which included 99 combat skills, 99 slayer, and most recently, the achievement diary cape. Just two goals remain on my list for the remainder of the year, being base 90 stats and learning to solo raid. As we enter the final quarter of the year, I'm determined to tick both of these off the list come 2020. Welcome to Iron Man Progress Video 72. Alright, so first level of the episode coming in. This is 88 runecrafting, two left to go until 90. I'm actually going to have to go and train some agility because that puts agility as my lowest skill and I want my Tears of Guthix to be going on runecrafting as it is a slower skill than agility. So that will probably be the next level just to even things up. And here we go, as mentioned, this is 88 agility, so I'll get a little bit more XP to ensure that Tears of Guthix is going back towards runecrafting, and those are both on an even level now. Okay, so this is going to be the initial raid setup. I think it's probably going to require a bit of fine-tuning here and there, particularly depending on what the raid actually is. I'm going to be scouting with my other account alongside this one to try and get raids a little bit quicker, but particularly at first I'm going to be going for some of the easier runes because, to be honest, there are some runes in raids I've never even done, um, like Vespula for example. Um, so obviously things like the pickaxe and the salve amulet is going to depend on whether I have guardians or mystics but most likely the vast majority of my raids initially are going to have those so I think this is a pretty good setup initially. I've gone for um, the BCP and armadillo chestplate over void just because I think it's worth making the most of actually having those items and at first I'm just going to be trying to do the 1-0 to zero method on the melee hand with a god sword um, while I get used to how to run the heads. I think at first I'm going to have to be suiciding in uh, an inventory of food because, um, like I said, it's a pretty steep learning curve at raids. So I don't really anticipate being able to do an ulm with just a single inventory of food and I'm definitely going to have to be prepping. So I think the times are going to be pretty rough, probably around an hour to begin with and the points aren't going to be great, but we'll see. Let's see how we get on. So as you're watching these clips of my first few raids, all I'll ask, you know, is that you're kind with your comments and considerate of the fact that uh, I am just a learner. As you can see from this clip, things did not go entirely to plan. Um, <laughs> the first raid took well over an hour to complete, and as I only took three staminas instead of four in with me, uh, it was pretty slow. Didn't die which was good. Well, other than suicide. So I technically did die because I suicided an inventory of food into the Ulm room to get through it. But 20,000 points in an hour, not too bad. The next one was even worse. I did die. I'll admit that. It wasn't good. 9,000 points. But after that, things did slowly start to improve. I felt that I was getting the timings of the mage hand and even the melee hand down a little bit better. I think... Part of the problem is doing the 1-0 to method is very slow on the melee hand. So if I can get better at it and eventually learn, you know, maybe 3-0, to 3-1, to 4-1, to one, that oh, it's going to speed things up and uh, just mean more points. I'm definitely not at a stage where I can be going without the suicided food. But hopefully that doesn't take too long either. I do have the Dragon Hunter Lance, so trying a method other than the... 1 to 0 is feasible. I just need to keep practicing. The actual rooms in the raid, I'm getting better at those. Those aren't too bad. But like I said, again, I've been doing pretty easy rooms. So yeah, slow raids. I mean, this one was under an hour, so I'll take it. There's lots of room for improvement, and I'm sure I will continue to improve with lots of practice. And that is the main thing. And you may be wondering what I'm doing in this clip. To be honest, I don't even know why I came to get the Crystal Grail. I just think it's a cool item, and I don't have the Ale of the Gods, which also has the strange drunk walking effect. So I just came and picked it up. It took like 20 minutes to kill the rabbit, and it's a fairly cool niche item to have in the bank. So yeah. Ah, that is 89 agility, so one left to go. And then I will have hit 90.
And there is 90 agility, very pleased to finally get that one. I can use the Ardy course without boosting now. And just the two rune crafting levels left to go until all base 90s. Ooh, Aram's Hood. I don't actually think that I've got that. I'll double check, but I think that might complete the Aram set for me. As for why I'm at Barrows, just a little bit bored. It's only a couple of items that I actually want. And then definitely wants, not needs. Uh, like the Darox Axe to complete the Darox set. And Guthans, I guess, would be nice to finish, but definitely not necessary. Oh, a Carol's Coif. I definitely have that. So in order to speed up 90 rune crafting, I've actually decided I'm going to do some lavas. I think I'll need to make between 90 to 95,000 lavas, and it will probably cut the time roughly in half, as opposed to doing blood rune crafting, which is pretty good. I was actually looking at my pure essence stack. I've got nearly 200k, or sorry, just over 200k, which is a little bit underwhelming considering all the PVM, Zora, and Slayer that I've done. It really wouldn't get me too much more than... 90 rune crafting, maybe 91, nearly 92. Not that I was planning on doing lavas all the way to 99 if that ever does happen, but I just thought that was interesting. Um, so yeah, I've, I've made all the rings of jeweling and the binding necklaces that I need. So I'll just start chipping away at it. Maybe get one level this episode, possibly do all of it. We shall see. And there we go, that is 89 rune crafting, one left to go until all stats are at least 90 or above. I think I might as well just go for it this episode, I would like to see this one out. So the next clip is probably going to be 90. And there we have it, that is 90 rune crafting. I thought what better place to get it than at Tears of Guthics. I've been slowly working on this since the beginning of the year, chipping away at it. And finally, all base 90 stats, that looks really clean. So I can now make soul runes, which I'll probably do a little bit of uh, on my way to 99 if and when I ever start working on that. Though I imagine most of the XP will come from Bloods. Very pleased to get that. And to round the episode off, I actually managed to get an elite clue from a crystal impling of all things. So I'm hoping this will have something pretty good inside. Let's have a look. No, that is your standard 100k Elite clue rewards, some teak planks for construction, some summer pies, which I don't really need anymore. Teleports aren't that useful. And a single rune bar. How disappointing. And on that bombshell, that is actually going to be it for today's episode. So I hope you have enjoyed watching. It's been a good one in terms of knocking out some of the goals that I laid out at the beginning of the video. And I guess at the beginning of the year. Really nice to finally finish up 90 rune crafting and 90 agility. And finishing that goal of having base 90 stats um, in terms of the skilling goals that I set myself for the year that really is it and other than learning to solo raid I pretty much achieved everything that I set out to do for 2019 so next episode certainly will continue learning to solo raid as I mentioned it is a bit of a learning curve and to be perfectly honest it's actually not that good for getting clips because I mean you guys only really want to see the end bit where I'm getting the items but at the moment it's taking me upwards of an hour to get to that point. Um, so that's actually one of the reasons why this episode has taken so long to get out. You know, obviously it's training runecrafting and agility, which are inherently quite slow skills. And the raiding wasn't that productive in terms of clips. So I do apologize. It's also been quite a busy month for me in terms of real life stuff as well. So that hasn't helped. I'm hopeful the next episode won't take as long to put together. And fingers crossed there might be some purples in there from raids to add into the mix, which would be pretty good. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to keep up to date with the series as and when the new episodes roll in. I've actually been thinking of putting together a new series. It's been on my mind for a while, but I'd be quite keen and curious, I guess, to get your feedback on whether it would be something you know you'd actually be interested in watching i don't really know what percentage of people come to the channel purely because they only like watching iron man content obviously i used to have a main account or you may may or may not be aware that i used to have a main account i've been thinking of starting a new series based on main gameplay on a new account purely based around making money and using that money for a specific goal which i'm not going to go into but it would be essentially revolving around a money making series if that would be something you're interested in watching, uh, do let me know if you're really against the idea of non Iron Man content on the series. Let me know as well. I'd just be curious. Um, I think it would be a nice thing to do on the side. 
maybe build up a bank of like 10 episodes and then release them periodically uh, alongside the regular Iron Man content. It could be interesting. And with the release of the old school leagues, which have just been announced, again, that might be something I'm interested in making videos on. Of course, at the moment, we don't have that much information on what that will actually entail as a game mode, but it could be interesting and just curious more than anything to know if you would like to see more videos on the channel but with different content so that's essentially it anyway rambles aside thank you again for watching and see you again soon take care